you know, these homosexuals are a bunch of disgusting perverts and pedophiles. I wish the government would round them all up, put, put them up against a firing wall, put a firing squad in front of them, and blow their brains out. In the wake of the mass shooting of 49 individuals at a gay club in Florida on June 12, 2016, by the hands of 29-year-old Omar Mateen, which is said to be the deadliest shooting in U.S. history, a couple of pastors made headlines after they uploaded videos to their YouTube channel seemingly celebrating the death of the murder victims. The Washington Post released an extensive article of Pastor Roger Jimenez from the Verity Baptist Church in Sacramento, California, which dealt with some of the highlights of his sermon that he preached on the subject. Now, in his sermon titled, The Christian Response to the Orlando Murders, Pastor Roger Jimenez was quoted saying, The tragedy is that more of them didn't die. The tragedy is, I'm kind of upset that he didn't finish the job. Now, another one of the more telling quotes from his sermon was this, where he said, I wish the government would round them all up, put them against a firing wall, put a firing squad in front of them, and blow their brains out. Now, one may ask, who is holding the pastor accountable for what it is that he's saying. Now, as it turns out, Verity Baptist Church is an independent organization. And according to Marcos Breton from the Sacramento Bee, he reported that Verity does not appear to be affiliated with any order of the Baptist faith. That means that Roger Yemez can say whatever he wishes without any accountability of a larger religious community. Now, another pastor spoke up about his feelings towards the Orlando murders. Pastor Stephen Anderson of the Faithful Word Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona, uploaded a video on the matter and was quoted saying, I'm not sad about it. I'm not going to cry about it. And he continued to say that the victims are going to die of AIDS and syphilis and whatever else. They were going to die early anyways. Now, if you want to go ahead and check out the entire article, as it is a very extensive article, I've got links to the Washington Post website in the description box below. Now, as it stands right now, the videos from these two pastors have been removed from YouTube for violation of the YouTube community guidelines and classified what it is that they were saying as hate speech. And there we go again with the whole hate speech and freedom of speech idea. And again, where do we draw that delicate line between what is hate speech and what is freedom of speech? I'd really like to hear what it is that you guys have to say in the comment section below. And I also found out that this mass shooting has happened less than four miles away from the concert venue that Christina Grimmie performed the night that she was shot and killed. And this piece of information was reported by the Daily Mail. Wow, I mean, there's so much that it is that I could say about this story. But I mean, the bottom line is, is that it's not a gay thing or a Christian thing. I mean, for me, it's more of a human rights thing. And no one has the right to kill someone else simply because the other person's lifestyle does not model what it is that your lifestyle is. And if that was the case and we were actually able to kill individuals based on their differences, then that means that we'd be going around killing everybody for anything. And then of course, you could talk about some of the things that the Bible says about it, but just understand that the Bible has been misquoted several times over. And people basically use religious writings like the Bible or the Quran to perform terrible acts, which often goes against what it is that the Bible teaches. Also, another thing that I wanted to note is that these two guys were pastors, and I did not hear any love come out of these pastors at all. Nor did they offer any word of condolences or encouragement or hope to the family members of the murder victims, which basically says to me that they have no regard for other individuals that shares a different belief or practices a different lifestyle. Now, I'm not saying that they can't be firm in their faith, but what I'm more so saying is, Where's the humanity? So I want to know your thoughts. Go ahead and leave your comments in the comment section below. And just like that, there goes another episode. So if you're new to this channel, do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. And you know I love your comments, so leave your beautiful comments in the comment section below. And if you're wondering how it is that you can get a hold of this t-shirt, go ahead and visit www.theyoutubebuzz.com where you guys could then click on the store button and purchase your very own YouTube Kill TV t-shirt. Feel free to browse around my channel. And if you guys want to stop me on social media, I'm available on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Google+. Plus, and I'm also on Instagram. And that's pretty much it. This video is a wrap, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.